is a most special Mother's Day gift. A bill headed to Governor Ivey's desk will close the book on a decade-long story of tragedy turned triumph for one Huntsville mom. WFO 48's Daquan Lee joins us live from the Richard Shower Center in Huntsville. Daquan, Dion Mack has seen the death of her son Tyrell Spencer go from an unsolved mystery to the inspiration behind House Bill 45, legislation named in her son's memory. Liz Spencer died here at the Richard Charles Recreation Center, and for years, his mom never knew how he died. But now that she knows it was a cardiac-related condition, she's worked with lawmakers to make sure it never happens to another athlete. I'm full of emotions. I'm excited. I'm happy. My heart is overjoyed. I want to cry. I want to giggle. It's, 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 it's amazing. Thursday was a triumphant day for Dion Mack. Lawmakers passed House Bill 45, also known as the Tyrell Spencer Act. The bill is named after Mack's son, who died from complications from cardiac arrhythmia while playing basketball at the Richard Shower Center in 2010. The bill would require coaches at all levels to undergo training on how to react to sudden cardiac arrest, like how to administer CPR and use a defibrillator. I can't change what happened but I can most definitely rewrite the narrative and change the perspective and the outlook. And that's where my focus is. Mac went more than a decade not knowing what caused her son's death. But after learning what happened from a recent autopsy, she got to work with Alabama State Representative Jeremy Gray to make sure other young athletes don't suffer the same fates. I think that I was even um, driven deeper with passion when I learned about her story. And she was telling me about just the, you know just the years and the journey that she's she's went through to be an advocate for this, and so that's kind of why we changed the name change because I really wanted it to put a a name and a face with it. Mac has also worked with NFL player Demar Hamlin, who suffered cardiac arrest during a game, but survived after receiving CPR. She says Hamlin served as further inspiration to get House Bill 45 passed. Anytime I see an incident like that, it's a mixed emotion because one, it makes me say, what if this would have happened with my son? Would he still be present today? But then at the same time, I also am grateful because what I don't want to happen is anybody to lose their life over something that could have possibly been prevented. Now, House Bill 45 is not officially a law yet. It still needs Governor K. Ivey's signature to become that law. But I was told by Representative Gray that the bill receives zero opposition to become to be at this point. And when that bill officially becomes law, we'll be sure to let you know both on air and online. Reporting live in Huntsville, Daquan Lee, 48, on your side.